Do you know how many times Kentucky has won the NCAA Men's Division I College Basketball Championships? Let's take a journey into the rich tapestry of Kentucky's championship history. The Wildcats have roared to victory an impressive eight times, each win etching a unique story into the annals of college basketball. From their first ever national championship in the 1947 to 48 season under the guidance of coach Adolph Rupp, to their most recent triumph in 2012, Kentucky's legacy is a riveting tale of skill, strategy, and sheer determination. But these victories aren't just about the final scores. They're about the players who became legends, the nail-biting games, and the unforgettable moments that define each championship season. Stay tuned as we delve into each of these championship seasons, starting from the earliest. Our journey begins with the 1947-48 season, marking Kentucky's first ever national championship. The 1948 championship was a season of firsts, and this was the year when the Wildcats started to roar. Under the steady guidance of coach Adolph Rupp, Kentucky began its journey to the top of college basketball. Rupp, known as the Baron of the Bluegrass, was a master tactician whose coaching philosophy laid the foundation for Kentucky's success. The team had an incredible run that season, culminating in the final game against Baylor. With a decisive 16-point victory margin, Kentucky claimed its first national championship. The Wildcats' triumph was a testament to their grit, determination, and sheer love for the game. And who could forget the star of the season, Alex Groza. Standing tall at 6'7", Groza was named the most outstanding player of the Final Four. His performance throughout the tournament was nothing short of phenomenal. Groza's skill, agility, and ability to make those clutch shots when it mattered most helped propel Kentucky to their first championship title. Groza's contribution to the team was immeasurable, but it wasn't just about one player. The 1948 championship was a team effort. Every player, every coach, and every fan played a part in this historic victory. The team's camaraderie and unity were evident in every play, every pass, and every shot. This was a team that played for each other and for the love of the game. The 1948 championship was more than just a win. It was the start of a legacy. It was the beginning of Kentucky's rise to prominence in college basketball. It signaled the dawn of a new era, an era where the Wildcats would not just participate, but dominate. And that was the beginning of Kentucky's championship legacy. The very next year, Kentucky was back in the championship game. Fresh off their first ever national championship, the Wildcats were raring to go, ready to prove that their previous victory was no fluke. In the 1949 season, Kentucky was a force to be reckoned with. They had a chip on their shoulder and a drive to win that was second to none. The Wildcats established their dominance carving a path of victories that led them right back to the championship game. They had their sights set on another title, and nothing was going to stand in their way. The final game saw Kentucky face off against Oklahoma A&M, a formidable opponent. But the Wildcats weren't phased. They played with a level of skill and tenacity that left spectators in awe. Every move, every play, every shot, was a testament to their determination and their desire to win. The game was a nail-biter, with both teams battling it out for the top spot. But in the end, it was Kentucky who emerged victorious, defeating Oklahoma A&M by a 10-point margin. The final score was 46-36, a testament to the Wildcats' defensive prowess. The 1949 season was a memorable one. It was a season filled with remarkable plays, unforgettable games, and a team that refused to back down. It was a season that saw the Wildcats solidify their place in college basketball history. Key moments from the season still resonate with fans today. The team's resilience, their unwavering belief in themselves and each other, and their commitment to the game are qualities that continue to define Kentucky basketball. Two consecutive championships, Kentucky was making its mark. The 1949 championship was more than just another win. It was a statement, a declaration to the world that Kentucky was here to stay. And boy, did they stay. Fast forward to the 50s, another golden era for Kentucky. The Wildcats were on a roll, and 1951 was another year of triumph. The team, under the masterful coaching of Adolph Rupp, 
took home the championship after defeating Kansas State in the final. A score of 68-58 signaled Kentucky's prowess on the court. The team was led by standout players like Cliff Hagen and Frank Ramsey. Their combined talents and unyielding determination played a crucial part in Kentucky's victory. But the Wildcats were not done yet. The 1958 championship saw Kentucky roaring back to the top once again. This time, their opponents were the Seattle Redhawks. The Wildcats, showcasing their usual flair, defeated Seattle with a score of 84 to 72. It was a game to remember, with key players like Vern Hatton and Johnny Cox making significant contributions. Hatton, in particular, shone brightly, scoring 30 points in the championship game. These two championships further solidified Kentucky's reputation as a college basketball powerhouse. The team's impressive performance, coupled with their indomitable spirit, made them a formidable opponent for any team that dared challenge them. The Wildcats' success was not just about winning games. It was about a group of talented individuals coming together, overcoming obstacles, and achieving greatness. With four championships under their belt, Kentucky was a force to be reckoned with. After two decades, Kentucky was back in the championship limelight in 1978. The Wildcats took the season by storm, playing with a level of skill and determination that was truly a sight to behold. This was a team that was hungry for victory, eager to reclaim their title and place in history. This game will be forever remembered as the game The Goose. Jack Goose Givens got lose, pouring in 41 points in the championship game against arch-rival Duke. The season was a roller coaster filled with highs and lows, victories and defeats. But through it all, the team remained steadfast. Their resilience was reflected in their 30-2 overall record. They were a force to be reckoned with. Every game was a testament to their grit, their teamwork, their unwavering belief in each other, and in their collective ability to clinch the title. The climax of the season came with the final game against Duke. This was a battle of the titans, a showdown that had everyone on the edge of their seats. The stakes were high, the pressure immense, but the Wildcats were ready. They played with heart, with passion, with a burning desire to win. Every basket, every pass, every defensive move was executed with precision and finesse. The game was a nail-biter, a thrilling back and forth that kept everyone guessing until the very end. But when the final whistle blew, it was Kentucky who emerged victorious. With a score of 94 to 88, the Wildcats had done it. They had defeated Duke, they had won the championship, they had made history. Key moments of the season were etched in the memories of fans and players alike. The thrilling buzzer beaters, the heart-stopping defensive plays, the unity and camaraderie on and off the court. These were the elements that defined the season, that made it truly special. The 1978 championship was more than just a victory. It was a testament to the spirit of the game, to the power of teamwork, to the sheer joy and exhilaration of playing basketball at its highest level. The Wildcats had shown the world what they were capable of. They had shown that they were champions, in every sense of the word. The 70s ended on a high note for Kentucky. The team had achieved their goal. They had won the championship. They had made their mark. And as the echoes of the final whistle faded, as the cheers of the crowd died down, one thing was clear. Kentucky was back, and they were here to stay. The 90s brought more glory to Kentucky. As the calendar flipped to the final decade of the 20th century, the Wildcats continued their pursuit of excellence. The first of two championships in the 90s was secured in 1996 with a victory against Syracuse. This game was a testament to the tenacity of the Wildcats as they clawed their way to a 76-67 victory. This championship was a testament to the strength and resilience of the team. The Wildcats were led by a group of talented and committed players. Among them, Tony Delk stood out, delivering a stellar performance, proving instrumental in leading the team to victory. His sharp shooting and agility on the court were unmatched, earning him the much-deserved title of Most Outstanding Player. Just two years later, in 1998, the Wildcats were back in the championship spotlight, this time facing Utah. The game was a thrilling display of skill and strategy, with the Wildcats emerging victorious, 78-69. to 
the team's dynamic play and strategic maneuvering on the court were nothing short of impressive. This year, it was Jeff Shepard who stole the limelight. His exceptional performance throughout the tournament culminated in a championship win, and he was awarded the title of Most Outstanding Player. His leadership, combined with his skill on the court, was a key factor in Kentucky's victory. The 90s were indeed a golden era for Kentucky basketball, with the team securing two championships and producing a number of outstanding players. These victories not only added to the illustrious history of the program, but also set the stage for the successes that were to follow in the new millennium. By the end of the 90s, Kentucky had solidified its status in college basketball. The most recent feather in Kentucky's cap came in 2012. It was a year when the Wildcats roared louder than ever, reminding the world why they're a force to be reckoned with on the court. The 2012 season was a memorable one, to say the least. The Wildcats were a well-oiled machine, steamrolling through their opponents with a finesse that was both thrilling and terrifying to watch. The season was marked by a series of victories that etched their prowess in stone ending. The team was led by a dynamic group of players and talented freshmen, each bringing their unique strengths to the court. The synergy was palpable, their coordination flawless. They played not just as a team, but as a single, unstoppable entity, which is always Coach Cal's expectation and hardest challenge. The Wildcats dominated the season with an overall record that was nothing short of phenomenal. 38 wins and only two losses. The climax of the season was the final game against Kansas. The anticipation was sky high, the stakes even higher. The Wildcats faced the Jayhawks with a determination that was unyielding. The game was a nail-biter, with each team matching the other, shot for shot, play for play. But the Wildcats had the edge, the fire in their eyes burning brighter. The game ended with Kentucky defeating Kansas, 67 to 59. The victory was sweet, the culmination of a season marked by grit, tenacity, and an unwavering will to win. The Wildcats had once again proved their mettle, adding another championship to their already impressive tally. The 2012 championship season was a testament to Kentucky's enduring legacy in college basketball. It was a reminder of the Wildcats' indomitable spirit, their relentless pursuit of excellence, and their unwavering commitment to the game. It was a season that will be remembered and celebrated for years to come. That brings us to the end of Kentucky's championship journey for now. But knowing the Wildcats, it's safe to say that their hunger for number nine is always top of mind. As we look forward to future seasons, one thing is clear. Kentucky will continue to make waves in the world of college basketball. Eight championships over six decades, a testament to Kentucky's enduring excellence. As we've journeyed through the annals of Kentucky's basketball history, we've witnessed the rise and triumph of a college basketball powerhouse whose legacy is built on the foundations of tenacity, teamwork, and sheer talent. The story began in the late 40s, with back-to-back -back wins in 1948 and 1949, under the leadership of coach Adolph Rupp and the stellar performance of Alex Groza. Then, the 50s saw two more victories, in 1951 and 1958, with players like Bill Spivey and Johnny Cox making their marks. The 70s brought another golden era, with a championship win in 1978, a testament to the team's resilience and adaptability. The 90s then ushered in a new wave of success, with two championships in 1996 and 1998, showcasing the brilliance of players like Tony Delk and Jeff Shepard. And who could forget the most recent victory in 2012? A team led by Anthony Davis defeated Kansas, reminding us all that Kentucky basketball is a force to be reckoned with. These eight championships are not just about the victories on the court. They're about the stories of perseverance, the moments of triumph, and the players and coaches who over time have woven together the fabric of an enduring legacy. They're about the spirit of Kentucky basketball, a spirit that continues to inspire and drive future generations of players and Big Blue fans. And there you have it, a glimpse into the rich championship history of Kentucky basketball. We hope you enjoyed this Kentucky basketball history lesson. If you have, please hit the subscribe button now and subscribe to this channel. We have more unique, insightful Kentucky basketball videos on there way soon that you don't want to miss.
It is no secret that many Big Blue fans feel this year's 2023-24 team has the potential to bring national championship number 9 home to Kentucky. Personally, I have never seen a team that shares the ball and finds the open teammate the way this team does. Have you? We have six or seven players on this team that could go out and get you 20 points on any given night. The number of players is double figures. Each game has been astounding. This video is being released around the 1st of January 2024. The staff at Wildcat Gifts believe it is just a matter of this year's team tightening their defense and they will be Final Four bound. Most of Cal's teams improve defensively as the season moves forward. Time will tell, we will all know in March if this team can bring home number 9. But if the rest of the year is any indication, the one thing we can all say is this team is one of the most fun UK teams to watch. Uh, ever. And a quick reminder, when you need to purchase a gift, remember our sponsor, Wildcat Gifts. They are owned and operated by Big Blue Fans for Big Blue Fans. WildcatGifts.com. Your comments and feedback are also appreciated. Which of the eight national championship teams was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, go Big Blue, get number nine.